this is Shauna Noel and I wanted to share with you some of the print and pray releases that we have for this month. I also printed off a bunch of stuff from Revival Camp. So I'm gonna do a separate video because a lot is included in that and I wanna make sure to have all that in one spot for those of you that are still interested in joining us. So the theme that Elaine came up with this month, she is our manager for the shop, is spiritual gifts. And then she also does a mood board with all the colors. And this month, you guys, the ladies knocked it out of the park. I am so excited to share with you what they came up with because it's just all so amazing. Now, my biggest tip for when you're purchasing digital items is just to go ahead and print them all off right away because What's so great about that is that you have it available, but then later if you decide you want to use it in a different way, like maybe you want to shrink it down or you want to make it into a sticker or you want to do other things, then you can always go back and do that, but you're more likely to use them if you have them printed off. So I always print them on both white cardstock and I use Nina bright white cardstock. And then I also always print them on a transparency paper to have that because I love, love, love to use those as well. So I'm gonna go over these. Now, for some reason, when I printed these off, my feather page for Brianna's did not print off. So I'm gonna just show you the transparency of that as well. Now hers, she ha is like an amazing watercolor artist. So these are just gorgeous. Look at these cute little birds and this little nest. And then I love that she has a good mix of big sentiments and then the birds. And then she also has a separate sheet, which I'll show you the transparency of feathers, which is just gorgeous. Like seriously, come on, that is so pretty. So I cannot, not, not wait to play with those. Those are gonna be fun. And then Salted Brew came out with this amazing set. I really love this one because it's so practical. This is something that really gives you a lot of journaling prompts, like this less is more, what is a spiritual gift, I love this one as well. And then all these great tabs which work well with the We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. And then these circle tabs, and then this cute little thing. So all of this is really practical. And then she gives you some bookmarks to journal on. Some, again, I look at these as really great journaling prompts, things that are gonna get us in the word and things that are gonna get us thinking and inspire us to create, which all are amazing and wonderful things that we want to always do. So that is another one, but another fun one. And then Elaine Davis always is rocking it. These are so cute. And I, again, will probably shrink these down for stickers cause hers just really translate well to stickers because she has like different shapes and things. So I always like to shrink mine down to like a four by six sheet. Let me see if I have one. This is what I did for her happy camper is I just shrink them down to, I've already used a lot of them, but just like a four by six sheet and then print them and cut them on my silhouette cameo which I'll try to link to that as well. All right, so these are cute. Again, talking about the spiritual gifts, she lists them all here, but then she's really creative in how she encourages you guys to, and me, to journal about your spiritual gifts in this fun and playful and summery way. I love all these, they're so cute. That little strawberry, this little jar of blackberries. All these, I could see journaling on these. And then I love these little cut apart words. Those are really cute. Now, Jamie from Raising Rubies has a much different style and I love, love, love it. I think that these are great just to cut out and then put in as a little tip in in your Bible or your journal or your planner. And again, these would be really awesome shrunk down and then put like in your little planner box. Just if you had a day you really just need to fill with, filled with inspiration and his word and reassurance, I think that would be amazing. I know we're not supposed to have favorites, but I totally do. And it's this adorable fox. Look how cute she is, it's so cute. It says, charm is deceptive, beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is, is to be praised. I love that. So cute, all these little images that she does. It's totally her style and so fun. 
Okay, and then we have Allie. And she, I think hers and Elaine's printables would work really well together. They kind of both have this farmer's market feel. Um, Allie's is a little bit more vegetable based where hers is fruit, but they both play off each other. And because we use the same colors, it again just works really well. So hers is like a little seed packet, a little, I love this. It reminds me of the little things you put in your garden to market. I love this tab, that's so cute. And then these I could see using as like, um, cutting them out and using them as a collage or something. But these are really cute. I could see putting this in my margin and then doing journaling underneath. And this little tab, how cute is that? So those are those. And then let me show you really quick, Brandy, she is joining us for this this does not go with the theme, but we asked her to do these and then they came in around the same time. So we thought we'd just release them all at the same time. And I am so excited about these. Now this right now is a little journaling prompt and it's basically to document your current things that you're living and learning and growing through. So this one says singing. So I could imagine putting like your favorite worship song there or a hymn that you're singing in the shower or something like that. Bible, so what you're reading in the Bible. Right now I'm working through Nehemiah with Tanya and Revival Camp, so that is what I would put there or whatever you are reading. Coloring, maybe you're um, coloring one of those prayer color books or you are just loving a certain color, so you can do that. I mean, this is really open to interpretation. It doesn't have to be exact. This verse, which is a verse that maybe you're working through, we have a couple of those right here. So maybe, you, you're working through several verses through a sermon series or whatever it may be. I can see using one of these a week. So that would make sense. And then serving, how are you serving? Which this can act as a great reminder to serve as well. And then you can document that. And I think this would be so cute too to like, maybe you're serving in a kitchen and you could cut out a little piece of the, um, oftentimes they'll have a little flyer, you can cut that out. This verse, proclaiming, what is, what is it that God's really laying on your heart to proclaim this week? Believing, delighting, how are we praising God for what he's doing in our everyday? Surrendering, <laughs> that's a good one. It's so cute too, it's like this little dandelion. So cute. Praying, and then again, this verse. So this is just anything that we can give or do to kind of help prompt our growth and think, okay, well, maybe I'm not serving this week. How can I serve? And let's document that. Or maybe this is blank for a couple weeks and why? What's going on in our lives that this is blank? So this is just fun. And I'm gonna show you really quickly too how I, let me just show you right now. I printed a bunch of these and then made little journals. So these, this is a traveler's notebook cover and that's the size. This comes in several different sizes. It can come in a full sheet and I'll show you all those as well or ones that just go in your praise book. But I like to use, for this one I decided to use the traveler's notebook and I made two books. So what you do is I just printed this off nine times I think and then I stuck it in this and because you're folding in half it works out that the back of this page matches the left side of this page. And then I love Brandy and she works with a company called Feed Your Craft and um, they make scrapbooking paper. So I have their kits and I wanted to make sure to use some of her paper for my covers because it just screams Brandy to me and it's so pretty. It matches her little flowers inside. So, but you could use any paper or you could just even use white or a color card stock to cover it. Whatever you're kind of feeling. Um, you can also use your Illustrated Faith paper, anything that kind of works, something you have on hand. You could paint a cover, that would be really pretty. Use some craft paper, whatever kind of works for you. And again, I just made two because I know I'll use them and while I was making one, I thought I would make two. But those are so cute. Again, just another way to kind of document your faith and walk and your journey, illustrate what God's teaching you. Okay. So those are fun, fun, fun. I think I was most excited about this. 
and but all these are so stinking cute <laughs> so i love her little ladies and again these are something you could shrink down so if you wanted these smaller just when you're printing it print it at a smaller percentage and would make super cute stickers i love her flowers they're so unique and then all these little things hello i could use those like a thousand times over we also had a freebie in this newsletter, which I'll make sure to link you guys to that as well. And that linked you up to a freebie that was similar to this sweet girl and it had a saying that said, the higher your bun, the closer to heaven, which is just like a funny joke, of course, but we thought it was adorable. And then these sweet ladies, again, just really positive statements and things that could be used over and over again as you're working through the word and learning through what Jesus is taking you through. We offered them both black and white in color. These would be adorable as a traceable. Just slip them under your page. Let me show you really quick. So you could either color, color them like a coloring book and cut it out, or you can slip this under your page and see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's super easy to trace and then color your, on your own. So you can kind of work with that and then you can mix and match these little sayings to match whatever it is that you're wanting to say. Okay, so let me just quickly show you the difference in when you print on a transparency. I'm gonna get out my Bible because I think that that helps to kind of show you guys. Let me find a blank page. My Bible is quickly filling up. <laughs> so I'm going to have to move to a new Bible soon, which is exciting, but also like, oh, I love this one. <laughs> it's fun to work through. So let me just show you a couple of these. Now, what I like about the transparencies is that when you cover the word, let's say I wanted this to go this way, it almost acts as like a highlighter and does not cover it up which is awesome, especially for these like larger sentiments. So oftentimes with these, I will cut this out and then just washi tape it in and make it a flip. So it's not covering anything up, but look how pretty these are. Like look how gorgeous these birds would be flying across your page. That is so fun. You guys, I wanna like put this in here right now. These are so pretty. But any of these work really well. I always just, again, I print them all as transparencies so I have them. But let me show you, for example, Brandy's Sweet Girls. How much fun is that, you guys? Look how cute. So let's say I just cut out this sweet little lady and her speech bubble, or if I wanted to use a different one, I could. And then I journaled back here, but then use this as a layover. Or she could even go over the text because you can still read it. And then you could save this for your journaling. That is so cute. I love these girls. Look at that. So fun. Look at that banner. Well, that would be cute. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I'm getting totally distracted. <laughs> but these are so much fun. And then the black and white ones, you could do a fun technique where you put the black and white over it and then you color underneath it so it acts as like a layover for the color. Would that be adorable? So lots of options. I also thought, now obviously this one's too big, but I also thought these would be so cute. Like even if you cut them out individually, and that's what I love about digital stuff is that I can purchase this one thing and have this book to do this, and then also put, you know, use this in here for different ways of using the same product. And these peel off, it's just a way of, so you don't lose it totally, just so you know. So you can cut this out. Oh, look at this. How cute would this be? This one says this verse. Let me see if I can show you guys. So this one says this verse, but then what if you took it and you highlighted like a verse that you're working on, or if you put it here and put the verse here? How cute is that? See, this is why I like doing these videos. I get all these fun ideas. 
So again, I just printed all these off, and these are very brandy, and you'll find them in the print and pray shop. So adorable. But all these would be so fun. So these are by Salted Brew. Again, this would be such a cute little journaling spot. Cut that out. This, oh, look at this, you guys. This is so cool. These, I'm finding, I use the ESV journaling Bible. And I'm finding these are perfect to highlight. Now, I have the double column, and I'm changing to the single column. But if you have a double column, look how perfectly that highlights a single column. And then you could just washi tape at the top and then make a little banner. Let me just show you guys really quick what I'm talking about. So let's say this applies perfectly to this story here or this verse in the Bible. But what if I just cut that out? And look how easy these are to cut. And these are the Salted Brew new releases for July. And I'm going to leave this little bit at the top. It's so hard to see in the video, but it doesn't end till here. And look how fun that is. I'm gonna take this out afterwards because it doesn't apply to this, but I just wanna give you an idea. Because I know it's hard to cover, like I don't like to cover up the word either where you can't read it later, but I'm just going to put it, sorry I'm shaky, I need to go eat lunch. I'm going to put it right here, and then let's say that wasn't there. This, you could still lift up, read, do your journaling here, but this kind of highlights it and, and brings out the big idea of what you're learning here in the text. I am like digging this. This is so fun. All these could kind of work that way. And then I love the see God's blessings for you. Again, this is gonna be a way longer video than I intended, so sorry guys. This could go right over the text, just cut it off where you could still make it a little flap. It's just so fun. These bows are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, so fun, so fun. Again, these kind of do that same thing we were talking about earlier. So I love that. And I love these tabs. Any day and all day. Now I will tell you that these tabs aren't going to cut as well in the tab punch on this transparent paper. So I would just cut these out. They also make a cute little bookmark. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. So many fun ideas. I love, these are my favorite from Allie's new one, these little arrow things. How cute is this? Seedlings from God, and you kind of point to where you're learning, highlight it down here in journal here. How cute is that? Adorable. Make a little garden in your, in your Bible. And then look at these guys. So, oh my gosh, I love the picture one with the transparency. That's cute. And the butterfly, oh, that's so cute. And I can't wait to make these into stickers. Look at that. Look how pretty that is over the word. That's so gorgeous. And again, what I love about this is that you just put this in here, it kind of gives you this visual reminder of what you're learning, and then you do all your journaling, and then you could really call it a day. Like, it doesn't, sometimes people worry that they can't Bible journal because they're gonna, they overcomplicate it. Kindness is her tongue, that's so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is, over the word. <gasps> can't wait. So there's that, and here's a lean set. These are so cute, so cute. I love this little apple, that's adorable. But any of these would be adorable. Just cut them out, put them in, do your journaling. These cute little labels, I know they're meant for like the jar, but how cute would they just be to highlight like a verse that shows love? And then you put this little label there. Or goodness or faithfulness, that's it. You can print a bunch of those out for yourself and just label all those things. That's a fun one. 
This would be cute, a recipe about what you're learning in the Word. This little jar. I'm just having way too much fun getting all these ideas. <laughs> so this is why I encourage you guys to print them all out because you can get lots of ideas just by having them in your hand. How cute would this praying box be? And even if you just cut, like maybe this box doesn't cover where you're wanting it to, if you just cut this out and then it's like a praying arrow. You don't have to feel like you're wasting it because you can print it again. Singing, so cute. And again, these ones are really pretty over. Look at that, you guys. Everyone always tells me like I can't paint a hummingbird in my Bible. Well now, you don't have to. You can just put this in there. And it's so pretty. And you don't have to worry about the pages bleeding or anything. So I would cut this out, put it over the text, but make it like a layover. And then look how pretty with this right here. So fun. All these are, oh gosh, look at that little cutie. I love it. And then these feathers, I'm telling you, these girls rocked it this month. I can't wait to play with all these. Look at those. I always have a thing for birds though. What about you guys? They're so fun and easy to use. So I hope that that kind of answers some questions, especially with this little cutie, because I know sometimes things that we assemble is harder to visualize when it's just on the computer, but in a video, it's a little bit easier. And I cannot wait to see what you do with these and give the transparencies a try, you guys. I think it's like a dollar 25 is what our local print shop charges. And it's amazing and worth it, so good. But you can also print these at home. So don't be afraid to try that too. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy illustrating your faith. Bye.